Okay, next problem, we're gonna do cosine of inverse sine, negative one over square root of six. So the first thing you wanna do again is the part that's on the inside, this represents our theta. So we can say that the inside part here, theta, theta is equal to inverse sine of negative one over root six. Okay, so we got that first of all. We're gonna apply a sine to both sides and we would end up getting sine theta. If we apply a sine to this, the inverse sine is gonna cancel. And we get sine theta equals negative one over root six. So this is telling me now that uh, this is a, a way, a definition that I can use in order to draw my triangle. Now in order to draw that, my, I look back at what's inside here. My inside one will tell me how I'm gonna draw the triangle. That's an inverse sine. If I look at my table that I have here, inverse sine, the range is between negative 90 and 90, and that translates into quadrant one or quadrant four. So that's gonna tell me that I can draw the triangle in either the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant. I have to look at this, this right here says that sine is negative. So I need, to, I need to find the quadrant. If I have a choice between quadrant one and quadrant number four, I gotta choose the one where sine is equal to a negative. Okay, well sine can be interpreted as a, uh, as a, uh, a y value from the unit circle, so that would tell me it's gonna be down below here if I have a choice, because I know that my all students take calculus. All means that everything would be positive in the first quadrant. Students, sine is positive. Take represents tangent, tangent's positive, and here cosine's positive, everything else is negative. So out of the quadrant one and quadrant number four, this is the only one where the sine could be negative since I only have that choice because of the inverse. I only have a choice between quadrant one and quadrant four. Notice that there is no quadrant three here. So none of these actually have quadrant, you should never have a triangle drawn in quadrant three when you're doing these kind of problems. Only quadrant one, two, or four. In this case, we're drawing it in quadrant number four. Okay, and now we're gonna use our definition for sine. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. The angle itself that we're looking with is this one right here, measured from the x-axis. Opposite, uh, here, this one would have to be negative because this line is it's below the x-axis, so that one gets to negative. And then I have square root of six here, that's the hypotenuse. I need to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the, the last side. So when I do that, your your C value is the square root of six, that's the side opposite the right angle. And I also have negative one given as well. And so I'm, when I put all this in here, I get positive one. And then when I square this, the negative is going, to, the square root's gonna disappear. And so I get six. When I subtract the one from both sides, I get a B squared is five. And I wanna take the square root of both sides. So B is equal to radical five. So Square root of five is gonna go up here. That's gonna be, that's positive. I do get plus or minus when I take the square root, but specifically, I know it's gonna end up on the positive x-axis, so it's square root of five there. So now my triangle is complete. I need to answer this question now. I wanna answer cosine, inverse sine, negative one over root six. So I wanna write the answer for this problem. Now this says that out of the triangle that I have drawn already, I wanna indicate cosine uh, from this triangle. Now cosine is the adjacent over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse adjacent is square root of five and hypotenuse is square root of six. And so if I take that and I rationalize it, multiplying top and bottom by radical six, I'll get my final answer. So the answer for the whole entire problem, the exact value for, for this is gonna be square root of 30 over six.